hello everyone welcome to this video in this video i will discuss an important use case how to hide a command button on create record for right let's say this is my uh, loan entity and here if i'll click new it will open the form where we can create a new record right but there is a button called as approve right now i want to hide this approve button because it is the create form and the record is not yet created if someone will click this button it will give you unexpected result right so i want to hide this button which is not necessary on create form so how i can do that you will see in this use case so go to the power apps and in the power apps edit the model driven app to to edit the command button you have to edit the model driven app that you have created and navigate to the sitemap where it is showing your entity view so in left side you will find the let me navigate to another area here in my app and i'll go to the loans view and here i will click on edit command bar in the edit command bar i will choose main form main form command bar because i have approve button in the form right now let me check that if the button is there i think the button is not there uh, let me check here no the button is not here let me check which entity i have triggered let me remove it and click on and what is that sorry i was on the wrong entity so this was the sb alone here i will navigate to the edit new tab in the command bar edit click on main form and click on edit now here i will get the button approve right so in the property visibility in the visibility property you will see we have written some so on conditional formula and what formula have we written if self dot selected item status is equal to approved then hide it that means false or visible true that means it will show but i want to add another condition okay if the status is approved and i want to add another condition is approved and or or i want to add or condition here or self dot selected dot state not equal to form state or form mode dot new now this form state new will check that whether the current form is in new mode or create form now if it is not create form it will hide so what you will do it will check if it is approved hide it if it is equal to if it is equal to new then hide it right so either this condition is satisfied or this second condition is satisfied it will be hidden right so you can format it properly so that you can uh, check it so this is the condition and if the condition is satisfied it will make it false or hidden or it will make it true first condition will check the uh, current uh, record status and the second condition will check the state what is the current state so using or condition so this is the power effects by which it will check that what is the current form state new means it is create new record form edit means updating existing record view means read only form so let me use new and save and publish now let me test now you have to wait till the publish is success 
once the command button is published you have to publish the model driven app also so go to the model driven app and click on publish and once it is published you can navigate to the form and let us refresh so i will go here and click on new and press ctrl shift r to completely refresh the form now you see guys the approve button now it is still displaying but let me refresh it you see the approve button is disappeared because we are in create form now if you open an existing form which is not approved you will see the button available now the button this uh, record is already approved let me open a new record that is created let's say this is the new record let me open it and you see the button is displaying because it is not new create new record form and also the status is not approved that's why it is showing here and if you click that whatever logic you have written that will implement thanks everyone watching this video and i hope you understand how it works uh, how to hide a command button on create form thanks everyone see you